Hello boys and girls. I hope you had a good Easter and you had a very nice holiday and we had a couple days that you were not expected to do some work. Yes, but we have to get back to school. I thought I would make this quick little video to help you guys to understand the difference between have to and can. Okay, so have to is something that is a rule. Yes, everybody has to do this. Yes, okay. So in English, uh, in our English classes, we have the rule that um, you have to speak English because the more you speak English, the more you learn English. We also have the rule to raise your hand, uh, that everybody has to raise their hands because if everybody is talking at one time, then we cannot hear you. Yes, so you have to raise your hand so we can hear one person at a time and everybody gets a chance to talk. We also have the rule in English, you have to sit nicely because if you are walking around the classroom or sitting badly in your chair, maybe you can fall down and you can get hurt. So you have to sit nicely. We also have the rule that speak English, listen, that you have to listen. Yes, because the more you listen to English, the more you will learn English, the more you can speak English. Yes, so you have to listen. And you also have to listen to the teacher, to any rules that we have, um, because we have the rules so that we can keep you safe. Yes, so you have to listen. Okay, another thing that you have to do when you are following a recipe, can we please practice saying that word? It's not recept, it's recipe, okay? Um, when you are following a recipe, you have to do all of the steps, yes? So when you are making pancakes, you have to weigh the sugar, and you have to weigh the flour, and you have to mix them together, um, and you have to maybe add some milk, yes? And then you mix it together, and you put it on the pan, and you have to fry it, okay? If you don't fry the pancake and you put it in the oven and maybe you bake the pancake, then you will have more of a cake, like torta, okay? So you have to fry it for it to be a pancake. One thing that you can do in English is that you can take some notes. You can write what the teacher is writing on the board, but you don't have to unless we tell you you have to. In science class, you can use a little bit of Slovak. That's why we give you the vocabulary list in English and in Slovak, so that you can use a little bit of Slovak to help you to learn your English. You can always write extra sentences, yes? You have to write the number of sentences we tell you, for example, in my journal assignments, you have to write 10 sentences, but you can write more. If you want to, you can write 15, but you don't have to, yes? So I hope this helps you to understand the difference between can and have to, okay? Another thing that we have to talk about, have to talk about, is your activity book. So on activity book page 56 and 57, you must talk about some school subjects. And I sent you the audio files last week, but just as a quick practice, I would like to try to uh, practice saying these subjects again. So geography is like this, geography. It's a J sound, geography. Can you say that for me? Good geography. Okay, so the next subject is maths. Here, maths. In America, we just say math. Uh, so this one, maybe I will accidentally say math sometimes. 
In Britain, they say maths, and it's a th sound. We practice this with jolly phonics, th, and it, your tongue must be between your teeth. Maths, maths. Say it with me, ready? Maths, great. The next subject is history, and it looks like hip story, but we don't usually say story. We say it like er. Okay? It's something in English that we call a schwa. We squish the sound. So it's history. Okay? Say it with me. History. History. Very good. Okay? So the next subject looks like this. And you kind of want to read it as pe or p or something. But we must say p-e. The two letters. Okay? Then we have the subject this. And it kind of looks like ICT, but we have to say the letters because they are all capital. So when they are big like this, it means that we have to say the letters one by one. So it's I-C-T, okay? I-C-T. This one can also be called I-T, okay? I-C-T stands for Information and Communications Technology, but you can also just say IT, Informations Technology, okay? In America, we call this subject computers, okay? So I had a computers class. I did not have an IT class. The last subject we should all know because all of us have it, so it is science, yes? So we all know how to say this one, but just in case, science, 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 great. Okay, one of your compulsory work, uh, povinne, work is that you have to write the different things that you have to do in each subject. So on exercise two, you have the box that says draw a pie chart, uh, draw a map, write about the Romans, play football, plant the seeds, and use the internet. And you have to tell me what subject you have to do each of these things in. Okay, so number one is already finished for you. It is geography. Okay, so you have a picture of a teacher who is standing in front of a board and it says geography and there is a map. So what you must do is write, you have to draw a map. Okay, number two is P-E. So, looking at the words in that box, what do you think we should write here? Okay, so number two, we write that we have to play football in PE. Now, you know from our other uh, units in fourth grade that I don't like playing sports very much. I'm not very sporty. But when I was in school and I had PE, PE stands for physical education, okay? When I had PE, we had to play football. And I hate football, but this is something you have to do in this class. So you have to play football. It is not you can because you can means you can choose, maybe I don't want to. No, it's a class, so you have to play football, okay? So I think three, four, five, and six you can do by yourself. Uh, in our lesson on Tuesday, we will talk about it just a little bit if you haven't finished, and we will also uh, check the answers if you haven't finished, okay? Your next compulsory, povine, compulsory work that you have to do, uh, another word for it is required, something that you have to do, is activity five on activity book page 57. Okay, so this one, you must write some sentences. For these sentences, I would like you to try to practice have to and can. Okay, I know the example sentences, some of them don't have, have to, or can. Some of them say, I often make pizza. I don't want you guys to practice that this time. I want you to practice have to and can. Okay, so right now, something that everybody has to do is we have to stay home 
as much as we can. And we have to wash our hands um, very often. And we have to work on not touching our face so much. Yes, and this can help us with the coronavirus, not to spread it so much, okay? Okay, um, another thing that we have to do right now is we have to do our schoolwork on the computer. So I have to practice making these videos and uh, I feel like I'm a YouTube star right now, but this is something that we have to do. Okay, something that we can do, uh, we can play some video games to pass the time, we can go outside and take a walk in the forest, we can call our friends so that we can still talk to them even if we cannot see them in person. Okay, so we need to practice, have to and can in these sentences. Okay, you can practice writing some of the sentences that I said in the video, or you can write your own. Okay. I think that's everything from me today. So I hope you guys have a very good first week back from Easter, first full week back from Easter. And I hope that you can do this work. I hope the video helps you with this. And if you have any questions, please remember, I will see you on Teams on Tuesday is one place. You can always write me an email is another place. And you can always ask me if you can call me on Teams at any time, okay? If I am not in another call with another class, I will call you and I will try to help you, okay? But you need to, you need to write me an email or a message on Teams first so I can tell you if I'm available, okay? Have a great week.